There are two groups of work in the Pixel series, beads and prism. I use the internet to collect objects for both groups. I enter keywords into some auction sites on the internet and receive many pictures by email every morning that are automatically selected using the keyword alert function. I set up this system of using keywords to receive pictures some years ago. I chose the objects for both the beads and prism works in the Pixel series from the pictures. For example, I choose the things whose images and names are easy to identify for everyone, something you can find in an encyclopedia and in illustrated books, that is, iconic objects that are already in people's consciousness. My condition for the selection of objects or motifs is to choose something that is widely pervasive as information or as a visual image so that people can see what it is immediately. In other words, what I mean is that images of the object or motif are not so important. For instance, when I use an image of an elk, any messages or political meanings that the elk may suggest are not so important in this work. The most significant thing for me is rather how our brain will respond to the sense, texture and impression we receive from the use of beads as a medium and the prism as a visual and optical effect. I use images to select the objects, and once I finish making such works, they become a medium, and then the medium itself encroaches into the real world. I think it is easier for people to engage with my work when it has an object inside it. They can question whether the things people regard as images, or the things people use as products, are really images or materials. By raising such questions, I want to consider how human senses operate as well as the nature of being human. The beads works are made by putting glass balls onto the surface of the things. By doing so, the texture and colour of the surface of the object can be seen only through the transparent balls that cover the entire object. The colour, texture and presence of the object are absorbed into each single cell and the accumulation of them becomes an image as a whole, but the surface is resolved. Whether the work is a beads or prism work, the Pixel series sculpturally materializes the reality of the surface of things. In the case of beads, I put many crystal beads onto the surface and skin of the object. In the case of prism, I project images of the surface and skin of the object onto the surface of the prism box. The real world presence of the surface is important. In this sense, a stuffed animal is a thing whose surface is real, while inside it is either empty or stuffed with polyurethane form. The inside is empty or nothing. By covering the objects with beads, we are not able to see them directly and only see them through lenses, like a camera, and we only see the surface of things through the lens. At the same time, we are not able to touch them. This means that there is always a distance, because there are beads between our hands and the fur of the animal. I think this is also important. 
I mean, this reality, although it can never be touched, is treated as an image or a reality in front of us. I want to express this distancing of reality in my work.